Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz, business coach for women of color, and let's have a quick chat about whether or not you should include your pricing in your application forms. Now, there is a bit of a debate going on about this. People on one side of the aisle think that you should leave your pricing out of your application form when potential clients try to book calls with you in order to not scare them off, in order to really get them on the call and figure out what it is that they need and trying to figure out if from there you should be telling them what pricing makes sense for what work needs to be done. And then on the other side of the aisle, we have folks who just put the price out there myself included to be completely upfront about what it is that they provide and upfront about what the price is going to look like so that nobody's time is necessarily wasted I see value in both sides of approaching this but I'm going to say that it 100% depends on the actual service that you're providing I can see someone who is doing a bit more consulting work, maybe something where you're creating a more customized product that it makes sense if you don't necessarily put an exact price in the form, but I would recommend at least a range just so that no one's walking in blind. Think about just the experience of the person that's coming to you for help. Like it's a really uncomfortable situation to put them in, them hopping on a call and then they get excited to work with you and at the end they hear the price and they realize that they can't afford it or they feel pressured to say yes and then they don't really come to an, an empowered decision to work with you. You know, both of those situations just don't feel good. <laughs> and that's not how we want to run our anti-capitalist, anti-sleazy businesses, right? So if you have a service where this the output's gonna be a little bit more customized in that regard, and the thing, the deliverables that you provide will definitely uh, affect the uh, pricing, then I recommend putting at least a range so that people have a general sense of what they're getting into. Um, for people who might be coaches like me, you know, I 100% recommend putting your price there especially because you know when you're getting on that coaching that first initial sales call the purpose of that call is really to help the person provide clarity about the type of help that they need and you don't want them to be worrying about things like price or you know things like that that really should be used at the beginning of the process to make sure that people are hopping on the call ready and prepared to just discuss the issues that they're having and able to think clearly about that when people book calls with me they're able to see the price well in advance so that they know whether or not they can or cannot afford it and then if they really want to work with me it gives them time to maybe save up get the money together or plan for it in their future budgets for their business to be able to then focus on the call on literally just you know how can coaching help me what can be a potential outcome here just focusing on that clarity that can be achieved on that call it's definitely an uncomfortable situation if potential clients get on that call and then they're distracted or worried about the price we want to avoid that by any means because we want to be able to focus on the work so that's one of the huge reasons why I recommend putting, if not the exact price, at least a range that people know what it is that they're walking into. In addition to that, you're most like if you're starting a business from scratch, you most likely are working a nine to five job on the side. Maybe you have a family, you have people you got to take care of, you have a life. If you aren't upfront about the pricing, people are going to assume all sorts of things about how much your services are going to cost. And that means that you can get a lot of people hopping on a call with you, booking up time on your calendar, and they really just are not a right fit because they literally have no idea what they're walking into or how much the price is. And so you can easily see your calendar maybe booking up with calls if you don't have a price, but then be prepared for people to, um, for most of those people to not want to actually end up working with you. And it'll definitely save you much more time in the long run if you're reserving those precious spots on your calendar for people who know what they're getting into, they're ready to work with you, they want to have a serious discussion about if you both can be in partnership with this work moving forward. Let me know if you have any questions below. Today's a quick video, but I definitely recommend that you use the application form 
in that booking link as a great way to have people really talk about what it is that they're looking for and working with you, making sure that they clearly understand what they're getting into in terms of money commitment, in terms of time commitment as well, just to make sure that all of that is upfront so that everyone is on the same page. So that by the time you get to actually having the sales conversation, it's able to just focus on the work at hand at the potential partnership, everyone's focused and clear, and it's be a much more seamless transition into working together. So let me know if you have any questions below about what to do with your booking form, if you're doing a service-based business and you are having that initial sales call, discovery call, whatever you call it, but that initial conversation basically to make sure it's a good fit between you and a potential client. Let me know if you have any questions about setting that up below. You can do it free with a platform like Calendly and all you need is one and then you're literally off to the races in terms of making your 100 offers to build your business one client at a time. Make sure you check out this next video here if you're not quite sure what is it what it means to make 100 offers but you are at the beginning stages of your business and you want to get off to a good foot in terms of consistency, sustainability, and making sure that you give your business a chance to actually grow and hit your income goals. I'll see you later.